Hey everyone, this is Corey with Stafford ZDC, and today we're talking about the O Knife Borzoi. B O R Z O I. Borzoi. I assume that's how you say it, and I guess that's the product code right there. K N 00797. And over here, you just have the O Knife logo, of course, being part of um, O Light. So keep that in mind. You can see a little bit of rust down in there. I'll have to clean that up. This guy is D2, and this did do a little bit of food prep in uh, preparation for this video to get my review made. So I will clean that up before I send it to the next person. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about the Onaif Borzoi. You have a D2 blade, as you just saw, and a steel frame lock. This has a G10 uh, show side and they are advertising this as a front flipper or nail nick deployment. Um, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, o knife. I suppose if you use it like a nail nick, you can, but uh, yikes. Not, <laughs> not really all that great, unless you might be like a lefty who can squeeze their finger in there without touching the lock bar. Uh, you might be able to make it work, but it's a front flipper. That's what this knife is. So don't make it something that's not meant to be. Uh, I'm trying to look at their website here, at least this website talking about it. And there is not a whole lot to go on. Here we go. As I said, we have D2 for the blade. Now we get to the fun stuff here. 0.11 inch blade stock that has a swedge along most of it so you're not dealing with the full thickness for too long minus this bottom maybe quarter to half an inch of blade that you can see there the blade length is just over three inches at 3.04 interesting choice given some laws out there uh, but it does work well with this knife it makes the blade to handle ratio look okay it's definitely more handled than blade uh, but kind of gives me steak knife vibes which is kind of why i use this for food prep as well um, this is a flat grind. I don't need to look at anything to tell you that. That's for sure. Uh, this weighs 2.58 ounces. And that is about all the information that they have on the website here. So I will just give you my little testimony about this guy and its performance. And we will go from there. Uh, so this is a unique uh, design. It's very slim. It's very steak knife like, like I said. And it did uh, perform okay in food prep tasks. Uh, of course, using mostly that belly portion, given that this is a very, a fairly straight design, uh, not necessarily indicative of good on cutting board, good for food prep. You like having a blade that is set forward from the handle, like you would see in a chef's knife. Uh, you know, but enough about that. Performance-wise, it was okay. This has the 0.11 inch blade stock, which is not overly thick, though it does have a very short flat grind, only covering about 60% of the blade, maybe 70% uh, up until this point here where the swedge meets it. And it does not get very thin behind the edge. It gets thin enough to be a decent EDC knife, but it's certainly not an extremely slicey knife. That's something that I wish was extremely slicey because it's such a nice little form factor here. Uh, but it's not crazy slicey, and that's just the nature of the height of the grind. Something like a hollow grind would have been wonderful to see on here, but this is a budget piece. I just exited out of the tab, but I believe this was uh, $59, is what I believe it said on the website. So $60. Bucks. Not bad, not great. Um, you know, it could be cheaper. Steel frame lock, D2 bearings. You can see them out there for cheaper, but... O Knife is a relatively new company, and I don't know who does their OEM work, but they're not making it themselves as far as I am aware. So that is something to keep in mind as well. They are covering costs uh, of hiring somebody else to do it. A little pet peeve of mine with this as well is the difference in color between the pivot screw and the backspacer. That blue is so much nicer on the backspacer. It's a lot darker on the pivot and I wish they would use the same color, but I'm sure the backspacer is probably aluminum and the pivot's probably steel with some kind of coating on it uh, that is giving it this look. Just, I know you can't use aluminum for steel parts. You can't replace those with that, but at least match the color, guys. Come on. 
Come on, I, I, they're both blue, but they're def definitely different blues. Light blue, dark blue. Just, just pick one. Pick one and stick with it, because it looks weird. It looks out of place. I like the milling pattern. It's like uh, someone wanted to do some kind of design and kind of gave up on it, but it creates a unique look, um, and the way that they trail off of the handle is nice. I actually like that, <clears throat> excuse me, quite a bit. I don't understand this line here above the above this screw, but hey, it's not my design. I don't know what happened there. Um, ergos are solid. It's very neutral, so it feels good in hand. And this pocket clip is pretty nice. You have a deep carry clip with recessed screws that actually does deep carry. This is really not going to have anything sticking out of the pocket. This, you can see that loop goes just above the bottom of the knife, so this guy carries nice and deep. Very much like an executive gents carry um, style of carry and style of blade. Whether this would be one of those knives or not is totally up to an individual. I would not classify it as that, uh, but I can see why people would. Overall, it's nice. It has good detent. It has pretty good action as well from the bearings. And overall is comfy to use, has okay performance. You know, there are a million things you could do to upgrade this knife, but the way it is, is fine. This is a good knife. It's not a great knife. What else do you expect for 60 bucks? Yeah, O knife. They're, they've had some good ones. They've had some weird ones. This is on the good end for them, which I appreciate. And it's always nice to see some budget stuff that's doing well. So that's everything I got for you, keeping this one nice and short. Let me know your thoughts on O knife as a whole. Uh, the, anything about this knife, t talk about it down below because I'm interested, as always, to hear what people have to say. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of your day. Take care.